in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, lived a young girl named Elara. She was known for her insatiable curiosity and boundless imagination. Her days were spent exploring the forest, painting vibrant scenes of nature, and dreaming up stories that danced through her mind like butterflies. Every time she embarked on a new creative endeavor, her heart swelled with excitement. Alara's most treasured dream was to learn the art of playing the violin. She was captivated by the melodious tunes that echoed from the village square every evening. Performed by the renowned violinist, Maestro Alessandro, his music had a magical quality that touched everyone's soul. One fateful day, as Elara watched Alessandro play, she summoned the courage to approach him. Maestro Alessandro, she began hesitantly. I wish to learn to play the violin just like you. Will you be my teacher? Quote. Alessandro smiled kindly, his eyes twinkling. I'd be honored, dear child. But remember, mastering the violin requires patience, practice, and embracing the freedom to fail. Excitement and determination surged through Alara's veins as she started her lessons with Alessandro. Each day, she held the violin with care, her fingers fumbling over the strings, producing discordant sounds that clashed like an unsteady heartbeat. Yet, she persisted, finding solace in the wisdom of her teacher's words. As weeks turned into months, Alara's room resonated with both the sweet notes of progress and the sour tones of frustration. Sometimes, her attempts to recreate the melodies she heard seemed like a cacophony of mistakes. Her shoulders slumped, and doubt gnawed at her spirit. One evening, Alessandro noticed the heaviness in Alara's eyes. He took her aside and spoke softly. Elara, remember that mistakes are the footsteps to success. Embrace them, for within each one, lies a lesson waiting to be learned. Inspired by Alessandro's encouragement, Elara resolved to view her mistakes as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. She learned to appreciate the beauty of imperfection, acknowledging that even the greatest artists had faced failures on their journey to excellence. One day, while practicing by the river, Elara let herself get carried away by her emotions. She allowed her fingers to move with reckless abandon, weaving a melody that mirrored the splendor of the natural world around her. The wind rustled through the trees. The river whispered its secrets. And the birds sang in harmony with her tune. It was as though the symphony of mistakes had transformed into a masterpiece of creativity. Unbeknownst to Elara, Maestro Alessandro had been observing from a distance. He approached her with a radiant smile. Elara, you have unlocked the door to creativity by embracing the freedom to fail. Your music today was not just notes, but a story woven with your heart. Elara blushed, humbled by his words. Her journey had taught her that creativity was not a path paved with perfection, but a trail that meandered through failures and missteps leading to the breathtaking vistas of originality. Years passed, and Alara's violin became an extension of her soul. Her performances were not just about playing notes. They were about painting landscapes, telling stories, and touching hearts. She had understood that every wrong note was a brish stroke. Every stumble was a plot twist. And every failure was a stepping stone to innovation. And so, the village square was graced not only by the melodies of Maestro Alessandro but also by the enchanting tunes of Elara, the girl who had unlocked the symphony of mistakes and turned them into her masterpiece of creativity. The people of the village learned that the key to unlocking creativity lay in embracing the freedom to fail, for within those failures lay the seeds of brilliance waiting to bloom.